Finally, we installed Windows 11 on an unsupported laptop or PC, but then we have a problem because we need to find and install drivers. Obviously, your model is unsupported, so the question arises, where to find drivers? Luckily, I have answer to this question, but first, I want to thank our sponsors. 4D Dix Outer Black Friday deal is live, limited offer. You can get a 60% off one month plan on 4D Dig data recovery, file repair, or duplicate file deleter. Moreover, by using this special coupon, you can get 30% off on a one year plan. Don't miss a chance to win a $100 Amazon shopping cart in a lucky draw. For this, you need to subscribe to one of these social media platforms and click on the start button. Everything is very simple. I wish you the best of luck. And here we go. We are in Windows 11. Actually, this is 22H2 version. Not a big deal because it will work also in 23H2 version as well. Let's talk about installation of drivers more in detail. So you could install drivers on Windows 11 even if you have an unsupported laptop or PC. But the thing that you need to understand that even after this process, not all drivers may work properly because this laptop is unsupported. Supported. But from my experience, I can say that it will be not a huge deal breaker because most drivers will work, some laptops may behave incorrectly. For example, microphone or camera may not work. Let's move forward. First of all, you may notice that Windows 10 and Windows 11 automatically installing drivers on your laptop or PC. In my opinion, it's not that great because I prefer to install drivers manually from the manufacturer website. And I also recommend to do this. If you just install Windows 11, first of all, you can try to disable auto driver installation. For this, you need to navigate to the startup menu, click on the right mouse button, then navigate to the system, click on the system one more time, scroll down a little bit, select about, then you need to navigate to advanced system settings, click here, and you need to select hardware. After selecting hardware option, you may see device installation settings, choose whether Windows downloads manufacturer apps and custom icons available for your device. So we need to disable this option because this is auto driver installation. Click here and select no. Your device might not work as expected. Click save changes. And now we can close this window. After this process, we need to open our browser, so you can use Google Chrome browser, but I will open Microsoft Edge browser. Then everything is very simple, you need to navigate to the official website of your laptop or PC on the manufacturer website. For example, you can type Lenovo, if you have a Lenovo laptop, if you have Asus, you need to type Asus, drivers, install. And if you wish, you can type the model of your laptop. Completely to be honest, it's not that important because in the future we will change this option. So press enter, then navigate to the official website. Now we are on the official website from which we can install drivers for this laptop, L430. Indeed, this laptop is unsupported. Probably on my channel you watched a lot of videos about this laptop. I installed Tiny11, Windows 11. But first of all, you need to understand it's not enough to install drivers just entering the model of the laptop because we need to do it more precisely. I will explain. In the past, I have sold many laptops and and there was quite interesting model, Dell E6440. The thing is, this laptop looks quite similar, but believe it or not, this machine has different motherboards. That's mean we need to install a different chipset on this laptop and to install the correct chipset we need to know the serial number of this laptop. So how to know or where to find a serial number? In most cases you will find it on the case of the laptop Probably there will be a sticker or you can try to remove the battery and maybe the serial number will be there. But even though if you still cannot find the serial number of your laptop, you can try to use CMD. Move the mouse cursor to the search, type CMD, then it is necessary to run it as administrator. 
click run as administrator, select yes, and we need to type next wmic bios get serial number wmic bios get serial number then just press enter at the moment i use a virtual machine but believe it or not here you will find the serial number of your laptop or pc then you need to copy your serial number you can hit ctrl plus c close the command prompt one more time open your browser and then hit ctrl plus v then you can just press enter or click on the button that you will see on your website i will delete the serial number because i have a virtual machine after you enter the correct serial number of your laptop or PC, you can try to install drivers. And please take a close look because this is very important. I recommend to install drivers manually because auto installation is good, although it's not always helping to install drivers because it may miss some important driver. As you already saw this video on how to install drivers on unsupported device if you have Windows 11, but actually your device support Windows 10 so probably you will not find drivers for Windows 11. But don't get upset because Windows 10 drivers will work properly in most cases on Windows 11. So here you need to select drivers for Windows 10 and of course I recommend to select only 64-bit. Click here. First of all you need to install driver for chipset. It's necessary to install driver for chipset then you should install driver for your GPU. Indeed, this is chipset driver. Moreover, we have an icon. So I will click here. One more time, I want to repeat myself. I'm using this website only for example, because if you have Asus, if you have Dell, you need to use another website. You need to use a different website. Then you just need to click on download. The loading process will begin. We can go back. Also install driver for your GPU. If you have two video cards, I will recommend to install first driver for your integrated video card, which is Intel or AMD graphics. And then you can install driver for Nvidia or AMD disk rate video card. I hope you understand this. So I will click download. Long story short, we need to open the folder. This driver is for a Lenovo L430 laptop. This is a chipset driver. What we need to do, we just need to double click on this driver like this, select yes and click next and go through the installation process. Firstly, install chipset driver, then GPU driver. After you hold this process, you can install all other drivers. Here you may see audio driver. I do not recommend to update BIOS because it will be better to update BIOS on the supported operating system on Windows 10 or even Windows 8.1. Honestly, I don't know how old your device is. Also on this page, you may find several important drivers for your device. I recommend to install all of them after installing chipset and GPUs drivers. After installing drivers for Windows 10 on Windows 11, you need to restart the system. It's also very important because without restarting the system, changes may not appear. My conclusions. As you can see, it is possible to install drivers on an unsupported laptop or PC. Although you need to understand that there is no full guarantee that everything will work perfectly. But still, using this method that I showed you today will increase chances for your device to work stably. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC.